In the early days of my playing career, I thought having a big league rehabber join our minor league club was a good thing. I guess that in some cases it was, seeing as how he usually bought us food after the game he played in. You're not fed at the lower levels, meaning most of us would eat at a gas station or fast food joint after the game, not exactly the pinnacle of sports nutrition. Therefore, free pizza by way of rehab delivery is a no-brainer trade, totally worth giving up your spot in the rotation. But back in my time at Single A, a major league arm came into town offering more than pizza. His arrival bumped me out of the rotation, and to make up for it, he offered to buy me lunch the day of the start. He even let me pick the restaurant, a vain offer since the only place in walking distance from our team hotel was an IOP. After I ordered what I usually ordered, just a little more of it, my new big league benefactor pulled out a bottle of greenies, shook out two striped pills, popped them with no water, then offered me a pull. I declined. I'd never had a greenie in my life, not even as a social experiment. If I were going to have one, however, I wouldn't have one before a midday meal. I'd have it in a situation that mattered, when I needed to be acutely aware of every molecule in reality on a baseball field, outrun a hummingbird or be able to see sounds, not some idle Tuesday afternoon at an IOP over pancakes. That night, when this rehab starter got ready to take the field, I watched him eat a few more greenies. I'd seen players eat them before. High-octane pills and powders were nothing new. But it was the number and the frequency with which he consumed them that was the shocking part.